Hello guys, my name is Alex Gomez and welcome back to Easy3D. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to retopologize a head or a sculpt that you had in, uh, done with Dynamesh and give it a really nice topology. Obviously, this is not going to be like a production topology, but it's going to be good for uh, your concept art. So you can apply like a poly paint, you can make a nice UVs and so on. Uh, normally, retopologizing a rare do it on Blender or Maya. So let's get to it, guys. So let's see. So you see now how dense my topology is. It's not really nice. So the way to do that, I'm just going to turn off the polyframe and I'm going to use the Siri measure guide. So you're going to Siri measure guide. That's what you're going to use. So it kind of like a tells the Siri measure how the curves or the loops of your mesh are going to go. So the first one that I'm going to do is going to be right here from the forehead all the way around the eye into the middle of the nose. The second one that I'm going to do is going to go right here from the end of the bridge of the nose, following the lower eyelid, going up to the end or almost the middle of the of the head right there. Then our fourth or third one is going to be here from a little bit from the top of the tip of the nose going down right underneath our lip perfect so we have that loop right there and another loop that i'm going to do is going to be this one from the bottom of the nose going up from the upper eyelid and right to the middle of the ear almost to the middle of the ear, the ear. doesn't have to be super perfect there uh, I'm going to work on the mouth now. So another one that I can do is just one around the lips. Okay. And I have one around the lips. Let's go to one in between the lips all the way here. So it's kind of like I'm telling you zebras, like a, where I want those poly loops to be. Let's say like, a, oh, this is a little bit wonky. What you can do is to delete that line, Alt, and just kind of like drag and click and you have to delete the line so you can make it again right there perfect let's make another one that is gonna go from the chin all the way up behind the nose the, the sorry the ear all the way down to the neck and that's good there's something going on here so what you can do just press alt and delete that part and then you can connect this a little bit easier let's go right there but it's going this way so let's move it right here perfect let's delete this part and there you go and our last line is going to be right on the neck right here oops sorry on the neck and all the way right there boom and after I have that, I can just go to Geometry, Siri Measure, and apply your Siri Measure, and you're going to see the nice topology that you're going to get. So let's wait a little bit for it until the um, progress ends, and you're going to see how nice geometry you're going to get. It's not as nice as you do like actually manually, because you have better control to the topology, but look, this gives like a really nice, really nice loops on the mouth, on the nose. So from here, I can just start kind of like a, adding more details and it, it, it's an easier workflow if you guys want to apply UVs, apply poly paint and, and uh, start working from from this base than actually like working from Dynamesh. So I hope you guys like this uh, video and let me know if you have any comments, questions, any other topics that you want, guys want to cover. And have an amazing day. Don't forget to watch my other videos. Take care, guys, and have an amazing day. Bye.